Well, a little girl's wish for a sibling is behind our next guest's new song and book, Angel Star, was written by Chris Sanders as a way of letting his little girl know that she was going to become a sister. It is out now and is currently at number one on the iTunes children's chart. Welcome, Chris. Thank you. Thank you for having me. That was actually going to be my first question to you. Uh, yeah. How did you come to write this? Because this was going to be yeah. the first song on your album, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. I actually never intended it to be a children's book. And um, I was in the studio recording it and... Uh, yeah, we'd done a few sessions recording it and I thought, you know, this song's sounding really beautiful and I, you know, I've got to do something special with it and, you know, it's about my kids and, and so I thought, I was just driving home one day and I thought, I'm just going to turn this into a children's book, as you do. Yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, yeah. <laughs> and so I did that and um, I happened to know a children's book illustrator, a lady called Kat Meerweather, and I called her up and I sent her a like, rough demo of the song and, and um, she said, yeah, this is great, let's do it and, um, you know, she's captured it. You know, really, really well. It's she really has, cool, yeah. 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 And the great thing is, you even get CD in the back of it too. Absolutely. So that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, I tell you what, for those that haven't heard or seen it, let's play this little clip for you. She looked up into the sky to pick an angel from the stars. A shining light stood out that night. So she reached out to give it life. So I was talking before, and I you probably don't have kids, so you may not be so familiar with this, mm. but I described it as sort of an emo wonky donkey, yeah. didn't I? And you actually <laughs> knocked wonky donkey off the top of the charts. Absolutely, that's my claim to fame, knocked wonky yeah. donkey off the top. And, that's um, quite a big deal. Yeah, and just and beat, uh, in the general charts, it went to number eight as well, and I beat Justin Bieber. He was, I was above him as well, so mm. I, was, wow. I, was, I was pretty chuffed with that. So, so, so I want to know a little bit more about your history. Have you yeah. been writing books and songs all your life? No, this is the first. I've been writing songs probably for maybe the last sort of 12, 15 years or so. And, um, but this is the first children's book I've ever done. And, um, you know, it's quite a good way to start off my so children's book writing career. No, because a lot of the authors we've talked to say that writing children's books can quite often be harder than writing adult novels. Did you find yeah. that? Um, not really, no. It was kind of because I wrote it as a song initially and the, and the book is just the lyrics of the song. I've been quite used to writing, you know, you know songs all, all the time mm. so so it wasn't it wasn't really that hard for me personally the song only took me maybe a couple of hours to actually write and kids love that sort of lyrical way of yeah. reading books so it, it goes quite naturally and also yeah. you've written about your child yeah. what a beautiful way to announce to your daughter yeah. that she's getting a sibling because yeah. I seem to recall mine I just went guess what's <laughs> in mummy's tummy another Absolutely. little brother yeah. I suppose that that can be the thing you know with introducing another child into the family that can probably be a little competitive there and, and um, this is kind of a nice way to, to introduce another child to the family. It's an overachieving way. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. I'm not expecting every parent to write children's books. <laughs> and how did she react to the news that she was having a sister? Oh, she was. She thought it was great. Right. Yeah, she th and you know and you know she absolutely adores her sister. And, I, and maybe you know this book is part of the reason why she's bonded with us so well. So what you don't have to do, you don't have to do, the parents don't have to do it, we just have to buy this book. Yes. And that's how we yeah. can do the announcing. Absolutely. Go, hey, guess yeah. what? Yeah. Read this, yeah. listen to the CD, you'll be good. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And it's, it's at Paper Plus and Whitcalls nationwide, so so it's uh, you know, nice and easy to get hold of. <laughs> no, and it's brilliant to actually, you know, have a song to go with the book. I think it yeah. tells a great story. Parents are going to love it. I do believe Ricky Morris, yes. fantastic New Zealand musician, yep. he helped with this. What was his involvement? Um, Ricky produced the song. So after I'd... Um, I was actually, you know, written the song and I thought, I don't have any recording system at home or anything, so I've just got a little computer and I just, one night my kids were sleeping upstairs and I was whispering it into my, you know, into my recording system at home and, um, and it was pretty quiet and I thought, I'll email this to Ricky, you know, and see what he thinks and, um, I, you know, he came back straight away, he was like, beautiful, we've got to record this. So, um, so you know, and I, you know I, I've known Ricky for quite a few years and, and um, he's a fantastic producer, mm. you know, he's, and a great musician and, and uh, you know, when I wanted to do something like this, I thought, you know, I've got to have the best people involved. So, um, so you know, Ricky producing well, it was was fantastic. Pretty nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, it's early days, obviously, but have you had feedback from parents about the book? And the I've had a lot of feedback, actually, yeah. all, all very positive. Um, in fact, last week we did a we did a launch at Browns Bay School, and uh, we had 700 kids that actually learnt Angel Star, and. Um, there was a bunch of parents there, and I've been told that there was a row of about 20 parents all crying their eyes out because they were just thinking about their kids, obviously, and watching them sing the song, um, you know, at the, at the assembly. So, so the, the feedback is you know, very positive. You know, 
reminds them of their own kids. It's not a sad song. It's a it's a positive song. Yeah, it's a joyous. Yeah, it's song. a joyous yeah. song. It's yeah. very emotional yeah. though. It is. It's, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Absolutely. And it must be nice too, Chris, in this day and age where everybody talks about technology taking yeah. over to actually have a book and something that people because you know yeah. you've even got at the back of it the song chart. So yeah. if you wanted to play, you can play it. it. Must be quite rewarding seeing this in people's hands. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, that was one thing I just. You know, wanted people have said, "Are you going to bring out an iPad version or a digital version?" And the answer has been no, because I really think it's nice, mm. something tangible that yeah. people can go and pick up and feel, and and um, you know, and, yeah. and a CD that they can listen yeah, to. Yeah, that's you know? good. It's like, put that on at bedtime. There you go. Yeah. That's your night night song. Exactly. Um, yeah. Tell me about your association <laughs> with Child Matters. Yeah. So about six months ago, um, you know, I, well, I always thought it'd be nice if something I'd written about my children could help other children. So um, you know, and in the story, you know, it's about my daughter Emmy who picks a star in the sky and then she takes the star on this adventurous journey down mountains and across rough seas and she's protecting that star the whole way back to the family home and so you know um, Child Matters are a top of the mountain charity you know they're, 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 a, they're a child abuse charity so they are there to you know educate people to help prevent and to identify child abuse so so for me it was a perfect fit you know it was it, you know helping helping other kids you know that might be in danger so yeah. And are you going to do more of this sort of stuff? Absolutely. You, yeah. What's yeah. next? Uh, Angel toddler? Yeah. That one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Angel teen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who knows? No, I have got a second and a third one written. Um, right. You know, um, maybe Angel Star might sort of maybe, maybe sort of consume me for the next you know few months or, or beyond. But um, the second one, I've already talked to Cat Mary Weather about illustrating that and we've we've you know we've got that one in the in the pipeline for sort of mid next year nice and it's fantastic that you you know you're, you're helping support that charity yeah. child matters i think that's really important yeah, yeah. absolutely it's really yeah. nice nice yeah. work now the angel star book and cd are available now either through the website or from leading bookstores as well part of the proceeds from angel star will also go towards new zealand's children's charity child matters as we've just been talking about thank you so much for yeah, coming thanks, in Chris. Chris. Yeah. awesome yeah, yeah congratulations yeah.